downward facing dog, that's it. Very good. And come back up, come back up, come back up. Good, easy, hold on, stay right oh. there. Just bend that back knee, rolling on the toe, yes. And you were the voice of feminism. Mm -hmm. That's very strange. You were the popularizer of feminism. I think it took my whole life to write Fear of Flying, because flying in the book means creativity, sexuality, and independence. I was at the Beijing Book Fair a month ago, and I met this young Chinese woman, and she said, I've read Erica's book, and it changed my life. And she said, I am a Chinese woman who can fly. <laughs> Some people thought I wrote a dirty book. It was a shock to me, really. And then they'd say to me, oh, but the zipless fuck. I was accused of having sent all those women out there in pursuit of the zipless leap. But in fact, in Fear of Flying, Isadora doesn't really look for the zipless whatever. She's a romantic. Fear of self-revelation, being naked on the page, and thinking that nobody else feels the way that you do. But you're a novelist. That's your métier, is making up stories. You have to find that space where you can enter the imagination. We are told that we all need romantic love in our lives. Not true. We need to let women's creativity flourish. The only way we will ever be free is if we tell the truth about our lives.